So if you have restless leg syndrome, are you more likely to develop Parkinson disease? I'm Dr. Andy Burkowski of Relax Health. And one of the questions I commonly get in clinic seeing a lot of restless legs patients is whether they're gonna develop Parkinson disease because in a lot of cases they've been on Parkinson drugs. Well, currently our best answer to this question fortunately is no. Right now, we don't have evidence to suggest that you're more likely to get Parkinson disease if you have restless leg syndrome. But if you have Parkinson disease already, you're more likely than an average person to develop restless leg syndrome. So the opposite is true. So where do these two conditions tie in together? Well, it involves a chemical called dopamine that's a neurotransmitter. It's a chemical used by brain cells that are it's used to talk to each other. Restless leg syndrome, as best we know it, is a condition that's mostly genetic, but involves low iron levels in certain areas of the brain. And iron is important in the transport of this chemical called dopamine. So the dopamine system doesn't work particularly effectively in restless leg syndrome. In Parkinson disease, however, it's not just that the dopamine system is not effective, it's that the brain is starting to uh, deteriorate and it's not actually producing the chemical of dopamine. In fact, in restless leg syndrome, in contrast, uh, individuals seem to have more than normal levels of dopamine in certain areas of the brain, perhaps because the dopamine system isn't working quite well. Whereas in Parkinson's disease, eventually the brain stops producing dopamine, and that's why dopamine, giving back dopamine, is one of the main treatments uh, for Parkinson's disease. But from the best we know of, there's really uh, no increased risk of someone developing Parkinson's disease after having restless legs first. Uh, there are some theories that, well, the dopamine dysfunction that is shown in restless leg syndrome can go on to, to lead to a degeneration of the brain, which eventually leads uh, to Parkinson's disease. But this has not been shown to be the case yet. Uh, that's just been a, a, a theory. But the fact is, it's really the opposite. It's that restless leg syndrome is just much more common in Parkinson's disease. And so some of the numbers are generally... Uh, 10 to 20 percent of individuals with Parkinson's disease may develop restless leg syndrome. There was a, a couple years ago, there was a Korean study and 21.6 percent uh, of those in the study in Korea uh, had restless leg syndrome. Uh, another study was a, a Chinese study where it looked at other studies uh, throughout the world. And outside of Asia, the, about 16 percent of those with Parkinson's disease had restless leg syndrome the normal uh, prevalence of restless leg syndrome is somewhere between five and 10%. So it's, uh, it's definitely more common in those with Parkinson's disease. So why would that be the case? Well, one of the theories is that the Parkinson drugs, which are used for restless leg syndrome and used for Parkinson disease, actually make restless leg syndrome worse over time, particularly the dopamine agonist medications. And what could be happening is that those with Parkinson's disease who are exposed to dopamine drugs, primarily levodopa or the brand name Cinemet in the U.S., uh, it, maybe they are developing this phenomenon called augmentation where the restless leg syndrome is slowly getting worse over time with exposure to these dopamine drugs. Certainly people with restless leg syndrome who are treated with dopamine drugs eventually get worse and we think this could be inevitable. So maybe the Parkinson's individuals maybe would not develop restless leg syndrome if they weren't on the dopamine drugs in the first place. So this is sort of the best theory uh, that we have, but we really uh, don't fully understand it. And levodopa or Cinemet seems to cause much more severe augmentation in those with no Parkinson's disease. So normal dopamine producing individuals with restless leg syndrome. So yes, back and forth between these two conditions, it's a little confusing, but the bottom line uh, for those with restless leg syndrome is that right now, it's not something you need to worry about developing Parkinson's disease in the future. Even if you're on a Parkinson drug, which uh, most experts would no longer recommend to be used for restless leg syndrome due to the inevitable worsening of the condition. So don't take the Parkinson drugs, don't start on these drugs, 
and if you're developing augmentation on dopamine drugs, uh, you need to find somebody who's going to help you taper off and find a different treatment for the condition. But the last thing you need to worry about is eventually going on to develop Parkinson's disease, as so far that has not been shown to be the case. It's just that uh, similar chemicals, similar drugs, but different conditions altogether. As always, this video is for general information only. It does not constitute medical advice. Please make all decisions, whether it's on a dopamine drug or not, with a licensed medical professional. And as I always like to say at the end, one of the keys to sleeping well is to relax.